Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today I am going to show you guys why I am the best graphic designer in Assetto Corsa. No, I'm totally just kidding. But I do want to show you guys what you can do with Sol if you take some time and effort. And I do want to talk about Pure versus Sol real quick, alright? So as you can see on my screen from what I just did, this is my SOL config, my Sol config. My game looks like this because of Sol config. It does not look like this because of my CSP or video settings. Obviously, to some extent, with smoothness and anti-aliasing and reflection fidelity and everything, yes, that's CSP and video. But everything you see to do with the sky, the lighting coming off the sky, how this is going from faded blue, pink, orange, down to gray with the moon back there, everything you see to do with these buildings colors, nothing being blue and overshadowed, this all has to do with the Sol config, right? So if I go back and I go look at these buildings, they look blue, they're overshadowed, the sun is too bright on these buildings, and nothing really looks nice and dynamic. And now you have a really nice, dynamic, more realistic game. The beauty with Soul is you can customize, spoiler alert, if you want my graphics, just copy all these settings right now, it's going to take you a couple minutes, but your game should look like this near the sunset. Anyways, like I was saying, you have 20 different pages here of things that you can change. These things here is what makes Soul more customizable than Pure. Meaning, you can take Soul and you can make almost any type of sky you want and you can really control everything to do with the lighting, the reflections, the sky, the brightness, the glare, the exposure, the ambient light, the CSP lights, everything is in Soul, right? So even if you want a nice little fog layer going on, you can do that too, right? On the fly, any server, online, anything, you can do all of this with Soul. Now let's talk about Pure for a sec. Pure is great for people that want an out-of-the-box experience. No problem running everything out of the box and looking good. And that you don't have to tweak as much to make look good. And the settings are much more understandable. And it is a much more user-friendly tweaking tool. However, with that being said... You don't have a lot of the options you do with Soul in Peer. What I would like to see come out eventually is a version of Peer that includes more of the options that you have with Soul. Because to me, if I want my game to look exactly like this, I can only get my game to look exactly like this all of the time, how I want it when I'm running on Soul Config. So I hope that clears up something for you guys. Um, Pure Config is absolutely worth the money, 100%, even if you hardly ever use it. And Soul is 100% worth taking the hours and hours of time that it's going to take to learn everything that you want to do just by changing all of those settings. So now, let me give you a quick example here of something we can do with Soul to just quickly change a game that is ugly and fix it really, really fast. So you don't have to waste a bunch of time here today. You see the blue lights, or the blue shadows that are coming off of these buildings. All we need to do is skip up, by the way, on page 5, always enable this. So what we need to do is skip up, and we are going to go... To the ambient section and it's going to be the ambient light section here it's also called nerd ambient and look at this guys take the saturation out of, the, of that and now all of a sudden just like that my game already is looking substantially better and i barely even did anything i just took out all of this ambient light you can do the same setting in pure it's actually called 
ambient light, and there is multiple settings for it in Pier as well. If you want stars at nighttime, all you have to do is crank up the saturation and turn down the exponent and you will get stars. You won't see them in the daytime, but they will come up at nighttime. I recommend about 25 exponent. So now let's go to the normal sky here, just so we can quickly fix the sky and I can show you guys what I did to get the sky to be how I had it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go to the cloud section here and we need to crank up the quality and I need to change the render limiter no sorry it wasn't the um, it wasn't the render limiter that was my bad there's one setting in here that you can change some of the cloud stuff with so an important one here is contour however you say that word this is one of those things where you get a clear color difference in the clouds and we can turn up the lit percentage so the clouds get brighter I know this looks weird right now don't worry we are gonna fix this just trust me we're gonna take the Sun intensity factor because it's sunset and we're going to turn that down we are going to turn down this right so obviously still looking messed up but we are getting there right so the next thing that I'd like to try and do here is switch over to SLL custom weather and enable that and disable that so you know as you can see even though I've done this tons of times it's not something that you can just pick up every time and nail it you know you have to come through here and you do have to take the time and just sit for a second and think okay what am I doing wrong how did I fix those clouds the way that I did and try and figure it out and then fix it cloud sky system render method this is going to change the clouds that I had So me, myself, I like the zero clouds. So now you can see in real time, it's not just super simple. You do have to look, but I don't mind showing you guys my mistakes because if you're watching still, you're learning. And that's what I'm about is spreading some knowledge and getting people to learn a bit more about this stuff. So now that we have the clouds we want and things are going good there, I'm going to turn up the blue strength, I'm going to take out the smog in the sky, and I'm going to put it on blue preset 2, because that preset gives you a little bit more blue in the sky there, right? So that's what we're going to do for that. And now we're just going to have to go back into more of the cloud stuff. I'm going to make my sun bigger, as you can see the bigger sun you have, the more brightness you get. That is how you falsely put the sun behind the clouds. You just make a bigger sun, and it looks like everything's getting bright there. And we have a sky bloom percent we can turn up or down based off of your personal preference. I'm going to turn my reflections down just a bit because I really don't like the over reflecting surfaces off the track and the car and the buildings. So now we're going to go back to our sky situation here and see if we can fix what's going on with the clouds real quick. I know I want my AP level on my sun a little higher because that's going to make the sun bright, blurry, and have more glare. I'm going to turn down the lit multiplier of these clouds. And my sky is now starting to get the colors that I want, but it's looking kind of dusty. And in my opinion, I don't like this as much. So let's try and remove some of the dustiness out of the sky and out of these clouds. 
the less saturation that you have, the more that the clouds will not show color. Whereas if you have a high saturation, the color comes through big time. So again, we are just going to play around a little bit with the settings here and try to fix the rest of the weather. The reason that it's good to go through this stuff is because every time you do it, you get a little more efficient with it and things are a little easier to learn. So now I feel like I want some more sun intensity factor. Now the sunset is going quite all right now. My moon and my sky in the back does not look good. So now we're going to attempt to fix that and give the low level of the moon a nice increase in percentage there. And let's have the moon be a little more displayed up with the sun. Now, the other thing bothering me here is that the clouds are dark gray. It looks like it's supposed to be raining, but you can tell that it's not. So now we need to go in and we need to try and fix these clouds. So we will go back to the cloud and we'll try to turn up the lit percent. And that's just too much. It's just a little too bright. So now what we can try is we can now turn down the contour or turn up. I am going to turn down. And now my clouds are a little bright to the point where these ones aren't looking very good. There's not a lot of fidelity now in these clouds. They're a little chunky. But if you come over here, all of this stuff is looking really good. And at this point, I would now actually like to also turn down the sun intensity factor just a little bit, just because it's getting a little bright back there. So let's go back to the sun. And let's see if we can increase the sun specular, which is going to make the sun on the buildings more apparent, as you can see there and on the car. I'd like to give this to about 130%. I don't feel like we need to mess with that too much. In fact, I think actually turning this down will benefit us for what we're going for here. So things are starting to look better in the sky. As you can see, super bright cloudy sunset all the way gradually going to a normal sky with the moon in the background there. Now my track isn't very lit. So what I'm going to do to fix that is I am going to come into SOL plan selector and I'm going to turn up the track lit multiplier and see if I can get some lights on the road here. No, not really. So this is one thing at the current moment. I'm not sure what I did here. So let me just go back to pit and see how the road is looking now. And this is the game that I have now. I think this looks pretty good with the exception of some of the soul clouds. And that's what I'm talking about. You don't have the nicest sky boxes. There's always a little bit of problem with it, a little bit of glitches. But other than that, you can make it look amazing. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit of SOL today, soul config, and just a little bit more about your sky stuff and how to make this perform or look a little better for you. I mean, it's not perfect, you guys. Soul config is not perfect. Pure config will look better overall and run better out of the box. But if you really want to customize some stuff and, you know, make your own custom graphics preset with your config and have something that you can be happy with, the game looks how you want it to look, and you can be proud that you spent the time to make the settings yourself, check all this out. It's totally worth it.
So that's pretty much all I have to say about the video today. I just wanted to show you guys how easily you can customize the sky and how easily you can figure out different issues just by turning up and down some values. And to end off the video again, let's go through what my game looks like now, what my game looks like with my other config that just does look much better. I like that a lot versus how the game looks at default. So it's no question that it's absolutely worth spending your time and effort in this config to get a game that looks more like this instead of what it looks like default. Have a great day, everybody. Just remember, it's not about what you got. It's about how you set it up. And just because you are on a budget PC, that does not mean that you cannot go into SLL config into these settings and make the game look how you want it to look. There are tons of people out there that run low or medium settings that use post-processing filters and a soul config or pure config to make their game look top tier. Kudos to all those guys out there that are doing that. I hope to see more people doing that because this game does not do it for you and everybody has a different opinion. So if you want to have what you want to have, you need to step up, get in the config, do something good for yourself in this game, and go through all these settings, and at the end of it, you can go, hell yeah, I did that, nobody did that for me, these are my settings that I'm happy with that I made for myself. Have a great day everybody, stay gaming, and I hope to see you out there on these streets.